Hello and welcome to War India News R. Today, India woke up with the news of Ratan Tata's passing. His contributions to India both as a visionary businessman and a compassionate human being will always be remembered. His leadership helped elevate India's global brand and left an indelible mark on the nation. India has incurred a big irreplaceable loss with the sad demise of Ratan Naval Tata. As Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that he was extremely pained by his passing away and termed Ratan Tata a visionary business leader, a compassionate soul and an extraordinary human being. Before we take a flashback of his life full of achievements, let us take a look at today's headlines. Veteran industrialist and Tata Group's chairman Ratan Tata is no more. As Ratan Tata took his last breath at a South Mumbai hospital on Wednesday night, the entire nation is mourning at the loss. Maharashtra government declares day of mourning in the state on Thursday to pay tributes. As a respect, Maharashtra Chief Minister Ekna Shinde said, industrialist Ratan Tata will be accorded a state funeral. He was 86 and a recipient of prestigious Padma Vibhushan Award. The last rites were performed around 3.30 p.m. today. IIT Madras launches SciStar in India. The Indian Institute of Technology Madras has inaugurated a new cyber security center called the Center for Cyber Security, Trust and Reliability, abbreviated as SciStar. It will focus on pioneering advancements in blockchain technology, AI model security, cryptography, quantum security and IoT security. The center will collaborate globally and locally with academia industry and research institutions, equipping students, professionals and researchers with the expertise needed to tackle today's and tomorrow's complex security challenges, thereby contributing to a safer digital world. Fiery exchange between Dr. Velumani and Agarwal erode rupees 3,500 crore value in two hours. Dr. Velumani's tweet seemed to hit a nerve pointing to the larger issue of how a single social media post combined with underlying service problems can have massive financial consequences. Ministry of Heavy Industries on Wednesday asked Vehicle Testing Agency Arai to provide details regarding alleged violations of consumer rights by Ola Electric as the firm is a beneficiary of government incentive scheme for EVs. Simultaneously, Ola Electric shares tanked 6.18% falling to Rs 85.21, wiping out Rs 3,625 crore from the company's market cap. Tag Infosec acquiring 200 new clients including Microsoft and Lenovo. Tag Infosec, India's first publicly listed cybersecurity firm, announced that it has added 200 new clients in September, including major names like Microsoft and Lenovo, spanning 32 countries. Tag Infosec's client base has grown to 690 across 57 countries in the second quarter of the fiscal year. Looking ahead, the company remains committed to its ambitious goal of becoming the world's largest vulnerability management company by March 2026. Google might lose monopoly. In a landmark case, a judge found in August that Google, which processes 90% of U.S. internet searches, had built an illegal monopoly. The Justice Department's proposed remedies have the potential to reshape how Americans find information on the internet while shrinking Google's revenues and giving its competitors more room to grow. The proposed fixes will also aim to keep Google's past dominance from extending to the burgeoning business of artificial intelligence, prosecutors said. Today, War India pays tribute to the legendary Ratan Tata, born on December 28, 1937, who has made a remarkable mark for India in the world of business. A renowned industrialist and philanthropist, Tata has led Tata Group to global success and invested in numerous ventures. Attending schools both in India and New York City, he is an alumni of Cornell University and also Harvard Business School. He has also earned an honorary doctor of business administration from Ohio State University in 2004. When J.R.D. Tata stepped down as the chairperson of Tata Sons in 1991, he named Ratan Dawal Tata his successor. In spite of facing resistance from many companies' heads who spent decades in their respective companies, Tata began replacing them by setting a retirement age. He further made it compulsory for each company to report to the group office. Under his leadership, the overlapping companies of Tata Sons were streamlined into a synergized whole. During his 21 years of stewardship, revenues grew over 40 times and profit over 50 times. He got Tata T to acquire Tetley, Tata Motors to acquire Jaguar, Land Rover and Tata Steel to acquire Chorus. 
turning the organization from a largely Indian-centric group into a global business. We cannot forget that Tata Nano car is his brainchild. The car was capped at a price that it could be well called India's Aam Admi car. Being a supporter of education, medicine and rural development, Ratan Tata supported the University of New South Wales Faculty of Engineering to provide improved water for challenged areas. Tata Education and Development Trust endowed a $28 million Tata Scholarship Fund that will allow Cornell University to provide financial aid to undergraduate students from India. Tata Group donated Rs 950 million to the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, in 2014 and formed Tata Center for Technology and Design. It was the largest ever donation received in the history of the Institute. Tata Trust also provided a grant of Rs 750 million to the Center for Neuroscience, the Indian Institute of Science, to study mechanisms underlying the cause of Alzheimer's disease and to evolve methods for its early diagnosis and treatment. Tata Group also formed the MIT Tata Center of Technology and Design at Massachusetts Institute of Technology to address the challenges of resource-constrained communities with an initial focus on India. A recipient of Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan from the Government of India, he has many other awards in his kitty. His death marks a significant loss to India's global business and the world of philanthropy. People tend to think about the big things that men have achieved, but what finally stays back in memories are the small things they do to people around them. Undoubtedly, the world will always remember you. On this note, we sign off for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. For more news and updates, you can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Stay tuned. Thank you.